Okay, so I posted um, a photo of a puppy that is not curly this morning. And I got a lot of questions about how this affects allergies. So I wanted to go through real quick and explain the three genes that we know of that affect allergy friendliness. Now there are probably more that come into play, but these are the three that we know of that are easily identified and easily tested for. Okay, the most allergy friendly would be plus plus for curl. Most poodles are plus plus for curl, not all. We have Valentine who's plus minus and we have a Midnight who's plus minus. That means somewhere in one of their generations, way, way, way back, there was a minus curl. Maybe uh, the neighbor's dog jumped the fence 200 years ago in their lineage and that minus curl carried over. But most poodles are plus plus. That would give them two points on the allergy friendly. Okay, so it's, we're looking for a six out of six to be the most allergy friendly of all. So Peaches is plus minus for curl. She's 46% golden retriever. So she has the minus curl gene. Teddy is minus minus curl. He's a multi-generational golden doodle. He was selected specifically that she, that breeder specifically bred to get the minus minus curl. Because it's easy um, to have lots of curl because poodles are mostly curly. So to get not curl is harder. So, one gene from each parent. So out of Peach's puppies, some are gonna be plus minus curl, some are gonna be minus minus curl. These that are plus minus curl have, are worth one point on the allergy friendly scale if we were looking for six out of six. These are worth zero points, okay? So these coats will be very smooth, um, just shaggy, like Teddy. I posted a photo of Teddy. Okay, he has some curl to him because of the furnishings gene. The furnishings gene is poodles are FF. Golden retrievers do not have a furnishings gene. They are FF, or also called ICIC, improper coat. Okay, golden retrievers do not have that. But because Peaches is a multi-generational, she is fully furnished. And so is Teddy. They were deliberately bred based on genetics, not necessarily generation. So they are fully furnished. So all of theirs are going to be fully furnished. That's the beard and the mustache, the round full face. They get that from the poodle, not from the golden retriever. Golden retrievers don't have hair on their face. So all of these puppies will get two points in that column. Okay, the shedding gene non-shedding is this. And Peaches is non-shedding and Teddy is non-shedding. So they get two points in that column as well. So on the allergy friendliness for Peaches, they get two, four, five points. They score a five out of six on the allergy friendliness. Um, so will they be allergy friendly for some people? Yes. But if you have severe allergies and you get one of these here, those would be Four out of six. Now we're increasing our odds that you're gonna have a reaction to it. So um, if you're looking for allergy friendly and you have severe allergies, your best bet is to get a plus plus for curl. None of peaches are plus plus for curl. So your best bet is to get two parents are plus plus for curl, FF for furnishings, and non-shedding, non-shedding. Okay, now the shedding gene actually has less effect on the allergies than does the furnishing gene. We don't know why. Um, and the shedding gene, they can have a shedding gene and still not shed. These all work together. It's not, you can't isolate one factor and there's more factors involved as well. These are just the easy ones to explain um, and that we can test for. So Peach's puppies will be four out of six on an allergy scale, five out of six on an allergy scale. If you have severe allergies, Maybe none of these would be good for you. Hollywood's puppies were all plus plus, all FF, and whoops, and all SDSD, and Eclair still caused a reaction in a little boy. Um, so sometimes no one is able to tolerate a golden doodle. You can be allergic to their saliva. We've had several people who could not tolerate the dog licking them. So um, if you have severe allergies, you need to assess your own risk factors. 
realize that our puppies are not um, to be taken home on a trial basis and returned. We try not to do that. It's not good for the family. It's not good for the puppy. It's not good for us. Um, and so if you have allergies, ask us. We can send you a clipping of the parent's fur, and you can put it and rub it on your face and sleep with it and see how you react. Um, there are no guarantees. As you know, if you have allergies, anything could make you react. You could start out non-reactive and then develop allergies later. And the opposite also holds true. You can um, react and then your allergies get less severe as you get older. And that's what happened with Benjamin. So um, I hope that answers some of the questions that I had about um, what the shaggy wavy ones look like and how they are for allergies. They're not the best. The best would be a six out of six. And these have four or five of the attributes that you're looking for if you have allergies. So if you have allergies, don't select from this litter. You might like that look, but it's more important that you can tolerate the dog.